Hi there. I, I, I'm glad to be home in uh, Chicago. I want to talk today about service. Service is one of the oldest APIs in all of Kubernetes. In fact, it was in the very first public commit in Kubernetes. It existed as an API at that time in 2014, so almost 10 years. Service is also one of the most widely used APIs in Kubernetes. Anybody here ever not used a service? No. Uh, pretty much anybody who deploys workloads in Kubernetes ends up using services. Why? It does a lot of things. Let me give you some examples. It does in-cluster virtual service addressing with IP allocation. It does out-of-cluster load balancer allocations, including a bunch of affordances for a, variant, a number of variant implementation. It includes node port allocations and DNS names and service discovery, and name aliases for things that have nothing to do with Kubernetes. It also does health checking for load balancers in case your load balancer wants it, or if it doesn't. It also does backend routing policies and topology. It also does finding and grouping of endpoints automatically, but if you don't like it automatically, you can do it yourself. It also does things like session affinity with a whole bunch of configuration, and it has a bunch of configuration hints for on-node implementation details. It also does port mappings. Oh, and simple firewalling. This is not an exhaustive list, but I'm running out of time. So service was designed to be simple. We have uh, this, this um, congruent, or not congruent, uh, uh, circled uh, model that uh, we designed to build for the way Kubernetes, uh, the services work. But you know what they say about good intentions? So as Kubernetes has expanded 10 years now, we have accumulated a lot of functionality. Uh, we have all sorts of stuff that has grown and more knobs and more sophistication. That's code for complexity. Um, the API that we've laid out almost 10 years ago is starting to limit how we can evolve. Uh, but Kubernetes is a project. We have a strong commitment to compatibility. And so uh, that includes things like underspecified semantics. Now, what do I mean by underspecified semantics? Any developers in here should now be cringing. Underspecified semantics. Is session affinity per service or per port? Well, we never specified that. So now we have multiple implementations which choose different interpretations of that, and we can no longer define it because we would break somebody. Are implementations required to consider port protocol or just port number when routing? Well, we didn't write that down. I feel like we maybe shouldn't have had to, but we didn't write it down. And so variant implementations have made different decisions about this. Uh, is a service actually immutable like we say it is, or can it be updated? We, we say that the cluster IP is immutable, but then we allow you to mutate it. <laughs> the service API, it simply, it just does too many things for too many people. We have, and we do things different from everything else in Kubernetes. For example, we do synchronous allocation instead of doing it in a controller like everybody else. We also have a pseudo transaction system built in. We also, until last year, didn't even support finalizers properly. The result is a very complex API that is really just a tangle of fields that have complicated interrelationships between each other. It makes implementation and testing really hard. It makes validation hard. It makes comprehension hard. And often we miss subtle interactions whenever we're trying to make changes to the service API. Uh, it also cuts off avenues for growth. There are a bunch of things that services probably should do but can't because we've locked ourselves in with API decisions, for example. We can't forward a whole IP address, only specific ports, because we've defined the API that way. So what can we do about this? I can't just delete it as much as I would like to, um, but I, I can stop adding to it. Um, and we can offer maybe a replacement that works better. I think we can. So meet my good friend Gateway API. If you haven't heard about Gateway API yet, it just went GA like last week. Um, really awesome project. A lot of uh, development time went into this. I hear you, you're saying, wait a second, isn't Gateway like the L7 load balancer thing? Yes. Well, kind of. Um, Gateway is an API that describes how to get traffic into pods. I wanted to call it the Gazinta API, but nobody would let me. Um, let's take a quick look at the Gateway API model. So. There are three categories of API resource for up to three different personas, up to. Uh, the infrastructure provider, the cluster operator, and the application operator. Somebody defines a gateway. This requests an ingress point to be created. 
The gateway class references the, uh, the gateway references the gateway class. This is uh, implementation details. The app operator specifies some routes which control how traffic is processed and routes those traffic to services. I don't think cluster IPs are all that different. In fact, a cluster IP is really just a gateway into a set of pods. Traffic goes out of the client and into the gateway. So a load balancer is also a gateway into a set of pods. Not every service wants a load balancer and not every load balancer service wants a cluster IP. These things are really different from each other. Because Gateway is a pure API, the implementations can choose what they need. Um, and the upside of this is that users can compose what they really need from different implementations of the same API. Downside, it's a little bit more complicated. Now, maybe we can relegate a service into just being a group of pods. And maybe we need a new API, I don't know, we'll figure that out. Um, either way, we still need to interoperate with services. So we can decompose the service API into a bunch of smaller things and giving us a constellation of concepts that lets us build a composable service. Final word, this is not a commitment. This is a bunch of ideas that I've thrown out and had people groan at me. Um, we're gonna see what we can do with this. We're looking for feedback. If you love it, if you hate it, let us know. Thanks.